Anyway, what's up, y'all? Welcome to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> I see you should have you should have said like when you was recording before before I did that, man. Um, now it's just weird, and I'm not explaining myself. This is Uncle Roger <laughs> <laughs> reacting to the British Bake Off. I guess is, it, is okay. that what it is? I, yeah, I'm guessing. I don't know. You know, I don't know what a Bake Off is. Is it two people baking stuff? I, I would think it's more than more than a few people begging stuff, but yeah, um, we're gonna react to it. This is a change from his egg fried rice videos. So uh, okay, yeah, let's see. All right, Great British Bake Off Japanese Week. Yeah, that's part of the title. I have no idea what that means, but okay. Play. Right. So at this TV show. Last time I saw someone. Maybe they're baking Japanese food. It's when Auntie Hannah left me. Hello, niece and nephew. It's Uncle Roger. Today, Uncle Roger gonna review more British people making Asian food. Because when British people make Asian food, always funny. That is show on TV <laughs> called Great British Bake Off. Very popular show. So many people watch. And recently, they had one week called Japanese Week. Uncle Roger, not Japanese. Oh, okay. I like Japanese food and Japanese whiskey also. Because well, it's awesome. Know about Japanese food? Let's see. Let's see. Niece and nephew, before we start, I want you to smack like button. Smack I'm still like tripping that this dude <laughs> is playing a character. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still tripping on that, dog. Shatter the reality that is your world. Hello. Or right? Whoa. Damn, man. Because for the first time ever, Smooth as hell. Just no hair. It's just, just perfect smooth. Baby, you, you, you think it goes all over? That boy remind me of powder, bro. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> like a fat powder. We want planter, we buy the cheapest planter. We don't care about color. Money don't go on tree. Don't waste money like that. We're all very excited, and the judges today would love you to make a batch of eight soft, delicious steamed bun. Steamed bun? Uncle Roger loves steam bun. Oh, those are steam awesome. Bun is more Chinese than Japanese. I don't think I had that many. Asian culture have fun as food because bun is our version of sandwich. Uncle mm -hmm. Roger lived in UK. That is a Chinese thing. Now, I've I never had it. Like I've had it once or once, twice. Two slices of bread. When you eat sandwich, shit fall out so easily. Not with bun. <laughs> bun is like sandwich, but better design. Gotta let the juices drip down your chin. Usually it's like a dumpling. Mm-hmm. But you can choose any filling you like. No, what would you fill your? Bro, it's like powder, dog. This guy no hair. This guy has too much hair. Why don't you donate some of your hair to the bald guy? Hi, uh, so stingy with your hair. Also, what is he wearing? What is he wearing? You on national TV, why are you wearing shirt that look like anime porn? Hi, uh, nah, that's a downgrade from that. Roger, like an old rock star. It is a horrible song. Don't even got eyebrows. Um, maybe he got that, the, that cancer it. thing going on. Maybe he got Regenerago. That too. Katsu curry. No, no, no. This is not katsu curry. You're using minced chicken breast. Katsu curry. The chicken need to be breaded. That's what katsu means. Breaded chicken cutlet. You can't just whack any chicken in any curry and call it katsu curry. Hi, uh, this is chicken curry, not katsu curry. I'll say this. He's in character and he knows his shit. Mm -hmm. Panda is a Chinese thing. I mean, well, panda is Chinese. Yeah. We lambs. The lamb itself is going to be raw, and that's going to be steamed in with the bun. And I've got garlic, ginger, chili, coriander, fish sauce, soy sauce, honey. How much stuff you put in? Yeah. None of those are Japanese. Why are you using fish sauce for Japanese week? Fish sauce is from Thailand, from Southeast Asia. What is happening here? I thought this is Japanese week. Where the Japanese stuff? Where the Japanese yeah. stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Poison sauce, soy sauce, any of that kind of stuff. Like, I'm going to be making 
making my wee buns into wee lambs. So this guy want to make his bun look like lambs. And then he put lamb meat inside his lamb bun. That's kind of messed this up, ain't it? So creepy. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to kill some lambs. Like cute <laughs> version of animal. And then inside the bun, you stuff the dead version of animal. Yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Uncle Roger loves eating crispy pork, but I don't stuff crispy pork into a cute pig bun. If you want to eat meat, just eat the meat. Don't try to make that animal cute. The timing of the proof is vital with this soft dough. Underproof and it will split. I would like it. Oh, you see? You see? <coughs> In TV show, they cannot show the brand unless the brand is sponsoring your show. So they mm. use tape to cover up the brand. Mm -hmm. yeah. We call Asian people. We all know this is Lee Kum Ki oyster sauce. We don't even yep. want to see the brand. That Kung Fu Panda stuff. <laughs> more more Chinese <laughs> stuff, huh? No, it's, it's like, yeah. It's like... It's in the same section. So, like, they put it right next to ramen noodles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because Lee Kum Ki don't sound like Japanese. No. Oh, he know he fucked up, but he still do. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he know he fucked up. <laughs> flavors of India? What's Japanese weed? To complement his two Indian flavors of mango chutney and apple sweetened lentil dal. Not only did they think it's Japanese weed. It's Japanese now they think Indian is Japanese also. Hi, uh, how many oh, countries Asian. Japan yeah, they try to say. Yeah, it's all, it's all, it's all the same, right? It's all Asian. Don't know what they're doing. Two of the bakers are doing their twist on the all-time classic meat in a bun. How can you mess that up? Burger buns. Burger buns. You would American oh it. <laughs> how many more countries are you gonna do in Japanese week now? American mm. Japan. So, instead of calling this Japan week, why don't we call this put random shit in fun week? Early. My burgers are way better than Lottie's. Burger off, Lottie. You burger off. Burger off. Ah, uh, burger off. It's so punny. British people love pun. I thought wang your egg in was bad enough. This is height of humor. So funny. Uncle Roger dying laughing. I bet now. Are you doing any gherkin? Yeah. Oh, Paul would be delighted. You did one without a gherkin for me. Yeah, maybe. Thank you. He hates gherkin. Really? Yeah. Really hates it. Yeah. I don't know why this guy hates gherkin. She got that look alike. I don't know what you hate. Competition stepped up. But Mark's not doing chips, so. Chips? Did they ask for chips? Who doesn't want chips, mate? This Japanese week. Throwing <laughs> Japanese fun. Uncle Roger don't want chips, mate. Make them make Japanese food. Yeah, I'm doing steamed chips. Yeah. <laughs> She's edgy. Ooh, did Uncle Roger see what I just see? You doing steamed chips? Yeah, I'm doing steamed chips. Yeah. <laughs> Uncle Roger sent some chemistry between these two people. Uncle Roger loved to see relationship develop in this kind of show. So cute. I hope they fall in love, get married, have children. <laughs> And the children asked them, Dad, how did you meet mom? And he go, I met your mom on cooking show. When I saw her fuck up Japanese food, that's when I knew she's the one. I mean, I am having fun. <laughs> I just like it being a bit different. Yeah, exactly. Cakes are boring. Let's <laughs> so both say that into the camera. Cakes, Cakes are, are boring. boring. Okay. I like this woman. She go on Great British Bake Off and insult cake. Oh my God. That is like Uncle Roger working at Singaporean restaurant and insulting Singaporean food. This restaurant is based on a Singaporean kopitiam. Uncle Roger think Malaysian food better. I think she has five feet nice in call the back. restaurant <laughs> business. Okay, Bakers, your time is up. Please step away from your... He is so bright. Buns. I feel like he's just like an overexposed over version of like the picture. <laughs> Uncle Roger is so impressed at this TV show. Not because their food is good. But because they've cleaned up so fast, look at this. This table is now so empty. Just one minute ago, this table full of all their cooking utensils. Nah, that's a serial killer. That's what he did. <laughs> that's called OCD. when Auntie Helen left me. When a woman wants to leave you, they pack shit up faster than professional mover. Uncle Roger, see how fast Auntie Helen packed. 
It make me go for yo and higher at the same time. Ooh. Higher. Oh, what are those things? Bun. Why this bun so ugly? This one look like it got lupus. This one look like it got eczema. And this oh. one, did you use this pick to wipe your ass? Why is so ugly? Oh. Very neat, very bold, well shaped, nice and shiny, smooth. Wait, hmm. what? Look at that. Like Play Doh. Look at that. This bun is like 99% bun, just 1% feeling. <laughs> you might as well don't put feeling in there. It's so, is Felix supposed to be in the whole thing, or is it just. Oh, damn. It's supposed to be in the whole thing. I think you're trying to rip me off. I love the chicken. I think the texture's great. Either I needed a bit more filling or a yeah. bit See? What I tell you? Too little feeling. This red glasses lady is correct. <laughs> I like this lady. She's so fashion. Glasses color match her shirt, match her cardigan. She looked like giant lady, but... They all seem pretty similar in size. <laughs> a little bit of decoration is quite nice. That looks like... She's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's that kind looks, of possible like that. Yeah, that looks Cheese, fine. Burger and red Why is it a burger, I though? Looks like you made like a cheeseburger bun that encapsulated the the burger. I will be so angry. I will complain to your manager, to your mom, to your dad, to your grandma. Tell them you lying to Uncle Roger. It's like having a burger, a dry burger. No dry burger. Hi, yeah, okay. Now I on lucky side. This green shirt gherkin guy, he hate gherkin, so she didn't make you gherkin, and now you complain it dry. These are the type of customer Uncle Roger love to yell at when they come to my shop. When we put food together, it's the best combination. If you request for don't want this, don't want that, and then you complain the food not as good, Uncle Roger say, fuck yourself. This is the best. <laughs> <laughs> Even he had to love. <laughs> this show is cute. Uncle Roger likes certain parts, but I don't know why they want to call this Japanese week. The only thing that looked Japanese... They even had, like, British flags. These contestants, they all too British. They tried to take Chinese takeaway food, put it in Japanese bun. So weird. So weird. I also don't know why they choose bun. Because Japanese people, so many good desserts, they can make mochi. Mochi with red beans. Mm, damn, that look good. Uncle Roger like. At least this British show trying to branch out great British bake off people. Why don't you hire one Japanese guy to be your guest judge? Just one. You cannot find one Japanese person in UK. They like to work so much. You don't even have to pay them. Niece and nephew, what you think of this show? If you want cultural to appropriation, Roger, mm -hmm. British bake off, tweet great British bake off. Tell them Uncle Roger want to be the judge for the egg fire rice week. This video, not as bad as the BBC food video. Not as oh. bad as oh. Jamie Oliver. But the great British <laughs> bake off people seem to think China, India, Japan, all the same country. Next time, you should just call this Asian week so simple. Then everything yeah. you do in this show yeah. will come correct. Next, and next Somebody fucked up. To Uncle yep. Roger channel. Next week video, Uncle Roger gonna work at Bubble tea shop, gonna yell at customer again. Gonna be good we joke. See you next Sunday. <laughs> bye bye. Going in saying he gonna yell at the customers. Currently in Stockholm, Sweden. Everywhere in Sweden, so Wait. expensive. This shithole mm. costs Uncle Roger so much. This chair so not comfortable. My leg getting cramped. Hi. Next time Uncle Roger go traveling, I bring my own chair. Smack like button now, like how your parents smack remote control when it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> what is this motion? Oh, my leg. Ah, oh, this chair is killing me. Stop, just stop it. Just, just stop it. Oh, you don't want just, it to... Just stop it, no. To no, ruin the no. majesty? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I don't want to see bloopers because I feel like it's breaking the moment. It's just Mickey Mouth taking off his fucking head again. I don't want to see that. <laughs> I want to forever know him as that as that Asian uncle guy that just... that That's how he talks. He has okay. a strong-ass <laughs> accent. Yeah. He, he just reminds me of my childhood days when I was watching Jackie Chan Adventures. <laughs> That's, that's what it is, man. So, Jackie, one more thing. I'm like, uh, now it's totally fucking racist. But like oh, back yeah. then, 
<laughs> it was still racist, but it was funny. <laughs> that was the shit. That was the shit. Also, also, I also liked it because Jackie Chan had a hand in making it. So how mm-hmm. you know? So hey, there hey, you go. hey, it's authentic. Authentic. Yep. And that racism was approved by the man himself. Um. So, what do you? What did you think about this video? I think it was all wrong. I mean, if you're going to call something Japanese week, then have it be about Japanese foods. Uh, how about have all of your people, okay, pick a Japanese food, make it, and then have the judges <laughs> vote on it. But apparently that was too much to think about for them. Honestly, I, I really do think that it actually was Asian week because that would make sense to have like a bun and then yeah. have all those different cultures in it, except for the burger. The burger was kind of like, eh, what the fuck are you doing? You, know? you think somebody just messed up in the marketing and did just on the show called it Japanese week when it was really mm-hmm. Asian week? When it was really Asian week. Because like there's no way you can say Japanese week and literally do Indian cooking. Yeah. And, and and not call it out on not being Japanese. It's like there's no way you're that culturally insensitive. Cause that's that's pretty well. It's yeah, the British we're talking about. You know what? You're right. It is Britain. <laughs> it's it's the motherfuckers that took over everything at one point in time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hot. We've claimed this land as our own. Who are you? Doesn't matter. You're us now. <laughs> Wait, what you, do you have mean? to worship our king and queen. Like what? Yeah, yeah, you're us. You are us, and we are you. No, we are <laughs> we're us, and this is our land. <laughs> you know, you're fucking silly. You're us now. This is our land. That this this is how this goes, and now we will take half of you, you will build our stuff, and then we will go get that land over there. That is also <laughs> us. We are it. This is us now. <laughs> it's like a few we, hundred years. We may or may not give it back to you in a few hundred years. <laughs> yeah, they they basically did not give it back. <laughs> it goes the same way. Ah, hello. Half of this is us, because <laughs> most of those motherfuckers is like. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> start, start raising up some spears. Dude. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's our job now. That's what we're doing in the Middle East. Hi, you're us now. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. You're like, we learn from the best. <laughs> you know, uh, Britain over here is like, oh, America. <laughs> uh, no, nah, they probably hate our asses. They're like, <laughs> like we're, we're, we're probably like that awkward cousin or uncle that like they, they always invite to the party, but don't nobody like because we're arrogant yeah. as fuck. Yeah, we get That's we get we drunk and we want to show off our guns. Hey, hey you want to see this pistol I just bought? Like, oh, oh please, with the pistol, okay? Everyone knows. <laughs> oh, man. But um, I honestly didn't think this video was as funny as this Egg Fried Rice videos. No. Um, no I I kind of, mm, and I don't, mm, I don't want to get in the feels right now, but mm. I kind of feel like he was trying too hard. Like, oh, some well. of the jokes was there, but... Well, I feel like, like he that. wasn't trying hard enough. If this this feels like mediocre, like some of his jokes just weren't as funny. Maybe it's we've did a few of his videos now, so yeah. maybe it's like maybe the the shtick is running its course. But I feel like he us, could. Yeah, I feel like it could have been funnier. Yeah, and it's just. I mean, I know you can't have your A game every day, but that's I what I feel like this is. Auntie Helen jokes are kind of getting old for me because it's mm-hmm. the same. joke. Like Auntie Helen leaving Uncle Roger, and all right, mm. divorce is sad, but also <laughs> funny. But in this case, pretty sad. It, like it's just starting out. Fuck. Yeah. All right. Um, what do you, what did you guys think? Uh, since we've done a few of these so far, do you like it? Did you think this was funny? Um, how how did you like it? I'm not judging it that hard. I don't think you know. It's like yeah, me neither. It's just somebody. Just... It, it's not it's, it's not his funniest that's all it is what it is yeah yep and uh asian week japanese week whatever you call it cultural appropriation yeah i don't i don't really know how to end this video man like <laughs> i do peace out youtube <laughs> <laughs>